Hello, everybody. Welcome to Toy Shows Talking. I'm talking to a couple of guys who are taking part in a new toy show in uh, sort of my neck of the woods. It's on in Ontario anyway, Southern Ontario. It's called the Awesome Toy Show. And uh, just going to talk about it tonight. Get uh, hopefully some more people out to the Awesome Toy Show, which is uh, Sunday, June 23rd in Brampton. So joining me is Awesome Toy Show. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What what should we call you for short? Awesome toy or show? All three. Awesome toy show. ATS. <laughs> ATS is a pretty cool abbreviation. I think I'll just tell you. Our Mr. Since awesome, we're, I guess. <laughs> since we're doing the abbreviations tonight, I'm Double M, Superstar Double M. Uh, and and uh, Danny is joining us as well. Danny, how you doing? I'm good. And yourselves, man. Excellent. DG. DG since we're doing the it. whole... Uh, abbreviation thing um so we're just calling it in the ring here as always but one of the questions that i, I did i guess the one question i prepared is um what made you want to start a toy show of your own so it kind of started back in uh the pandemic era <laughs> um that's usually where everything stopped yeah. <laughs> yeah, it all yeah. ended in the pandemic <laughs> era so just a little background um uh my day job is i I run a printing company, so you know when the pandemic happened, basically, you know everything shut down for me. So uh, it was a, obviously a tough time. Mm-hmm. But um, prior to that, um, my background is actually from uh, car, uh, like car show uh, events, right? Oh, cool. So we put on car shows uh, prior to the pandemic. Do you then, have uh, Have you been to the Oblivion show? <laughs> uh, that one, no. <laughs> We're more like tuners and stuff like that. That was stuff oh, like import gotcha. press and stuff like that, right? Cool. So um, during the pandemic, um, one of the things I was doing was that I was um, helping resell toys because a lot of people feared going into Walmart and Toys R Us and all that, right? But um, you know, I went ahead and <laughs> bought whatever, and I know parents felt more comfortable coming to my shop and picking up, right? So. Mm-hmm. Um, as we exited the pandemic, I had kind of a bit of an overstock of, uh, inventory. So I was trying to figure out a way, like, how could I get maybe a group of people to come to my shop and kind of like, a, you know, purchase the toys. Right. <laughs> so I kind of mm-hmm. thought about, uh, doing my own toy show, but, um, I wanted to maybe put a, my own spin on it. So I wanted to combine elements that we had from car shows and um you know combine it into the toy show element right mm. so that's kind of where the genesis came about so and where'd the name awesome come from please don't say it had anything to do with a miz <laughs> it does not have anything to do with miz but i just envisioned a show that was awesome and people just kept complimenting it awesome so and also too because awesome toy show was available as the url and the oh. instagram handles and everything so it kind of like it was like a light turning on right at that moment that okay this is the name <laughs> right on and that this is the website right here awesome yeah. toy show.ca it is in yeah. brampton ontario and i love the word awesome i use it a lot <laughs> and i go. think it's i think it's cool when people use the word awesome there's a lot of stuff in life that is not awesome how about we focus <laughs> it's all about focusing right it's all about what you choose to focus on and let's focus on the awesome we're focusing on the awesome toy show tonight and dg how did you get involved in this that's a good question. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I've been a collector for many, many years, toy collector. Um, I attended shows as a collector, as a vendor. Um, I actually met at one of the shows, and I was invited to one of his at first events, and uh, which was great. Uh, I was held at his business. I can never forget that. <laughs> um <clears throat> And then things uh, changed where I started working with a toy retailer called Titan Toys. Hmm. Uh, they're an online retailer. Um, I saw they're one of the sponsors of the show. Here. Yeah, they're one of the main sponsors for uh, Wings Next Show on June 23rd, which is amazing. Um, we uh, specialize in like importing action figures and, and collectible cards. And usually you can find us at uh, uh, the awesome toy shows um, and where we have all these things on display for sale. Yeah, that's kind of where it started. Like It's been years and years uh, collecting and just buying, selling and uh, meeting the community. Um, 
So, you know, I'm kind of a veteran, I would say, in a sense. Uh, in the <laughs> <laughs> Been around the block. Old, <laughs> old grizzled veteran of the collector, <laughs> the collector wars. You got it, man. And, you know, uh, just I have a few items here just to kind of show uh, the kind of things that we're into. Right By the way, Titan Toys, here we go. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to give a quick, uh, you know, rundown, but we, we deal with like imported stuff from like uh, Revoltex, kind of like this Catwoman. Cool. She just kind of came out. Um, oh, where's my camera? There you go. Um, she's pretty cool looking, super articulated. Yeah, the Revol uh, I've got a few of the Revoltex. They're nice. Oh, okay. The, um, now we're talking. <laughs> got, uh, I think I got an Optimus. An Optimus. Oh, Revolver yeah. yeah okay. Trans oh, man. You're tied Transformers, but right here. Right on, man. Till all are one. <laughs> Till all are one. Till all are one. Love that, man. And yeah, dude, you know. It'll it'll never happen, but it's a nice thought. <laughs> <laughs> right. I had, a, I had a great chat not long ago with some guys on the channel here talking about what that saying really means, um, till all are one. And they came up with this idea of you know, unifying against Unicron. And they kind of did that in the comics where mm -hmm. there's only two ways to beat Unicron, the Matrix or yeah. unifying the Autobots and Decepticons together. together. Well, the 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 union didn't work. So luckily the Matrix showed up. <laughs> <Matrix>. <laughs> the, the idea we came up with in this chat was like, what if they unified and they opened the Matrix together? Optimus and Megatron holding either side of the Matrix, opening the Matrix. How well, cool a moment cool. would that oh, have been? Man. Oh, man. That'd like be they, iconic. That'd like, be like they're Ugh. arch nemeses and they hate each other, but against a common foe, <laughs> you yeah. know? Then it would mean, yeah, of course. That would be an incredible image. And if some artist wants to tackle that, just the image of Optimus and Megatron, no one wants to draw it. I got to do it just with masterpiece <laughs> toys. Of them oh, opening no. the Matrix from either side and, and like the planet, you know, on, on above them. <laughs> yeah. So the website also talks about uh, cosplay. You got cosplay contests at uh, your conventions as well. Yeah, so we're doing a, so for the next show, we have actually a cosplay showcase. So we have a bunch of people coming from the Cosplay Alliance coming out to, um, you know, showcase their uh, cosplays. Cool. And we also have like live demonstrations of like cosplay uh, body painting on the spot. So people are transforming into their cosplay uh, during the show as well, right? So nice. Yeah. Mm. What, what's uh, what are some of the more impressive ones you've uh, seen at the previous shows? Like really big, elaborate cosplays. Definitely an armored Batman. I like oh. bends out <laughs> like, with it, the lights. Did he have the, the light? Yeah, his oh, his eyes man. light up and everything. Yeah. yeah. And just the whole detail that went into it was, like, amazing. Cool. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of, like, amazing builds that came out to our show. So it's, uh, as I said, we've done the shows quite a bit now. So, um, it, you know, it's gathering steam that way, right? So Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to uh, make it to the next show. I do appreciate that you invited me to the very first one, and I wasn't able to make it to that one or the other ones. And <laughs> like I was telling you before, hopefully I can make it to the next one if I can make it. Probably throw something on a little bit of cosplay, maybe a little Ghostbusters. For um, sure, we welcome all cosplay, man. So, <laughs> as far as the uh, past uh, conventions have gone, what's uh, what's some of the more interesting items you've seen at the booths for sale? Danny? Oh, and I just sorry, I just also want to mention this isn't paid promotion. I, I don't, I'm not getting free tickets or nothing. This is 100. I like going to toy shows, and I I love seeing a new. Uh, show pop up because that means you know new vendors oh, yeah. uh, something new and fresh and mm -hmm. you can go to a lot of the great toy shows in southern ontario but after a while it sometimes it just kind of seems to be the same stock every single time so that's why i really hope to be able to make it out to the next uh, awesome toy show because it's it's like a different thing from the usual group it's awesome bro how can you not it's awesome <laughs> it's totally awesome <laughs> definitely gotta check it out the thing with me though is because when i'm running the show Actually, all items are blurred to me when I'm running around the mm. show. So I don't get a chance to really notice like what's on the tables and whatnot. So, so you're I like a movie Danny, director. You don't yeah. get to actually enjoy it while it's happening. <laughs> so I think Danny could better answer like what are the cool items that he's seen at, at our shows, right? So <laughs> seen a flag yet? A flag? USS like, flag? No, the, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but um in terms of like things that are unique there. 
I see a lot of creative people come out uh, where usually we used to not see so much of it, right? There's guys doing like creative uh, toys, uh, um, like vinyls, right? Um, so, yeah, I just like, and people are getting more creative in terms of their, their displays and their setups, right? So, uh, you know, we try to do the same and always try to bring something new to every show. Uh, I find, uh, like, in terms of uh, creativeness, the di dioramas, action figure dioramas. So we're starting to see a lot of that pop up at shows now. People are getting creative and making dials for their figures, right? Um, so mm -hmm. that's you see a lot of that, which is kind of cool. The same with, uh, like, 3D printed accessories. Awesome. Stuff, right? So Customs and repros. Yeah, man. Repros so, welcome. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. So Because this, I mean, it, this has been said a million times, but repros that are obviously repros and aren't trying to pass themselves off as originals counterfeits yeah and that's all it's like, just it's just plastic yeah exactly great <laughs> um here's the gallery over here um man some, look at this venom yeah that was a, that was a good one too there's the light up batman that's that's Maybe. the armor batman yeah yeah oh that's awesome Very who's cool. this dude in the middle yeah, I don't know who's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> who's is he cosplaying? <laughs> there's the winged eagle, the most beautiful wrestling belt ever made. So we had a wrestling video game tournament uh, at that event as well. Cool. So that was the uh, winner of the uh, tournament for that. <laughs> there's the old Saturday night's main event banner right there. Yeah. Or is that Sunday night? Is Sunday no, night's that's, uh, Sunday night's main event. Oh, yeah. the podcast is so there. That's a, yeah, podcast. We had them uh, come by our shows. Though. Yeah, that's great. They're yeah. the remnants of uh, the old law. I used to listen yes. to the live audio wrestling all the time. Yeah. So we had uh, Chris Van Vliet, who interviews a lot of the wrestlers, as you know. Cool. Um, so he was at one of our shows, and I had a Sunday night's main event come do coverage because it was all a very wrestling-centric uh, theme that day, so... Wrestling is everything. It all comes back to wrestling. I mean, think about like how involved wrestling is in everything. So this vest I'm wearing right now is Punisher movie. Mm -hmm. Thomas Jane. Who did Thomas Jane fight in that movie? Big, tall, blonde guy, striped shirt, the Russian. It's Kevin Nash. It's a wrestler. Was it Nash? It's okay. a wrestler. Wrestling is in everything. You yeah. can't get away from it. Hey, Kevin Nash was the shredder back in. I, I, I was about super, to say that. A I, super, super shredder. Yeah, super, yeah. Shredder. super. Yeah, 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 super shredder. This that's is a nice cool. one too. Wow. That's a uh, Brampton Batman. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. So coming for the toys is nice, but I really love it when there's a great cosplay turnout because it's kind of like getting to see celebrities. I mean, it, it's not the actual actors that play them in the movies, but if the costume is good enough, I don't even really care if that's not Ben Affleck or not. Like the the, <laughs> co the costume itself when it's got a lot of time and effort put into it yeah. can be a you really know, impressive thing. When I, when I was executing the show, I always envisioned it to be kind of like a mini comic con. So I yeah. wanted elements of the cosplay, the vendors, you know, the Shrek. video game elements and everything. <laughs> right. So <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And P the Pikachu is going to be at the next show. Pikachu will Ira? be at the next show. Yeah. <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks bigger in, uh, than I remember him. Yeah, oh, it's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's having a good time there, but uh oh the Keaton Batmobile. Yeah. I've seen this around uh yeah. at an event before. Yeah. This is uh, the Brampton guy, right? That's the Brampton Batman, yeah. yeah. Is he gonna Batman. be there? He won't be at this one though, but he okay. was at our um our first uh show, so awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a super fun event and um price. Price matters to folks, so let's talk about uh, ticket prices. People can buy uh, tickets in advance if they want right now. Yeah, so um, children 12 and under are free. Uh, oh, that's tell awesome. You, tell all your parents. <laughs> that's awesome. Dude, I just want to take a second to say how cool that is because really it's it's so important you know, for the kids because they don't get to go to Toys R Us anymore, at least yeah. in the States. They still do here in Canada, but I mean – as, as nice as it is to still have Toys R Us, not to sound like an ingrate, yeah. um, the Toys R Us we have ain't the Toys R Us we grew up on. Yeah, It's something, yeah. but it's not that thing. So um, that's that's great whenever I see these shows and you uh, you have free admission for kids. So hats hey, off to you. To be very honest, a lot of the kids are like heavy shoppers, man. They come and they spend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They might make up for it then. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, awesome. I have a couple of kids telling me like they save up all their like allowance money throughout the months oh, just, to, so like, nice. just to come to Awesome Toy Show and spend it, you know? So, yeah. That's really nice to hear. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, um, general admission from 12 to 5 p.m. is $10. Uh, 
Uh, VIP access uh, is from uh, 11 to 12, and that's $20. So you mm-hmm. get early access um, to the vendors and get a shop. Um, we also have a ultimate fan package. Uh, mm-hmm. That one's for fifty dollars. Also gives you early access, but a swag bag as well with a bunch of goodies in it. So awesome! Mystery Funko Pop T-shirt, posters, a bunch of stuff in the swag bag. So, and uh, just a friendly reminder to Americans watching this who don't remember or don't know, we're all Canadian here. <laughs> These are Canadian prices. Every time I do a tour of Toys R Us here, every time someone chimes in and says your prices are <laughs> insane, I'm like they're Canadian, okay? Like. <laughs> chop it in half basically and that's what it is in, in uh, american funds <laughs> so yeah awesome prices uh any anything you guys want to uh, bring up that i haven't asked yet <laughs> well i wanted to backtrack a bit uh, i was thinking about what you were asking earlier about what i saw that was interesting at the show okay so i just want to touch base a couple of stuff um so one thing that i remember is that we had mcfarland toys as a mm. featured mm. vendor at our show He's a Canuck. Right? Yeah. As you know, McFarland Toys does not really do toy shows, so no. it was quite a big honor to have them come out to like our show, right? Wow. Like, you would see them probably at Fan Expo at most, but um, yeah, they came out and supported, so it was a true honor to have them on display, and they were giving out like posters to everyone, and they were showcasing oh. the newest McFarland Toys and everything, so that's something from like me as an organizer point of view, like that's something I remember you know, from, from seeing at the show. Right. That's um, a big um, feather in the cap right there. He, he's yeah. been doing amazing stuff with all the Batman line yeah. over the last couple of years too. Yes, yes. And that's uh, and his prices are still really, really low compared to all the other toys at stores. And I saw yeah. him in an interview say, <laughs> we, we make up for it in volume. Like, yeah, our prices are lower and they're lower than they should be, yeah. but we sell enough that it's okay. We make, we make out in the end. So refreshing. There you go. And then um, I also remember um, we had a giant Optimus Prime come out to the show as well. So it was oh, like yes. 12 feet tall and it was like in the lobby on display, right? What so version? They came, they came it... all the way from Ohio. Oh, really? Ohio, yeah. yeah was yeah. it a G1 Prime or? Yeah, it was a G1 Prime. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh. I remember that actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, I wish I had been there. <laughs> so, from a display perspective, that was something very impressive because when people yeah. came through the entrance, like, that's yeah. the first thing you saw, like a twelve foot tall, like yeah, that's the center. Prime. That's that's like the centerpiece of the show. Like that's why <laughs> I would have. <laughs> it was definitely if a I, centerpiece. Yeah. If I was able to make it, I would have gone for that and stayed for everything else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's really cool. A couple other things I want to touch base. On that, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Elements. You're in the driver's seat. Okay. ATS. <laughs> <laughs> other elements of our show that people have kind of like. Um, uh, loved would be so we have a live DJ at a show so it really adds an entertainment factor right oh, cool. so it kind of keeps like the crowd entertained and also vendors too right so it's, it's just not just you guys walking around and shopping right but it's a whole show vibe right that you're getting and also we have these like hourly raffles that like kids flock to the front stage and wait and you know they want all the grand prizes that we're giving out every hour right like we've given given away like mega prize packs of He-Man figures, um, we've given away like numerous uh, gas cards, uh, movie tickets, uh, like a bunch of stuff, man. <laughs> and then we have uh, a bunch of donations from our vendors as well, so it all contributes to that as well to the kids as well. So, right on, man. Well, I'm excited. I like I, like I said, I hope I can make it. Um, family always comes first, but uh, if I can make it, I'm looking forward to hopefully possibly <laughs> being there and and double m what uh what would you be looking for when say you were to attend the show well what would be your main thing i mean if i could do a 360 right now the camera i i got nothing left to look for like i <laughs> actually got a lot there. actually oh, like i i stopped having anything to look for like a wall and a half ago <laughs> like <laughs> A lot of the stuff is just uh, oh that's interesting and I mostly do trinket trinket shopping now like okay. a little little things here and there like oh it would be cool to have uh, you know this little figure or that obscure little thing mm-hmm. but there are there are the two white whales and it's not like I'm like uh, obsessed you know like 
you know, Moby Dick uh, hunting these down. I'm not, I don't, I don't search really hard for them, but if I ever came across them and the price was right and I actually came across one of them and the price was wrong. So I said, adieu, good day. Yeah. Um, but the two, the two last things that I'm like, I, I could make a little space in the corner for these two things, the Sectar's Hive, but oh, wow. those, those go for a lot. And uh, the original Thundercats lair, because because uh, why not? <laughs> you know, it's it's the last. I got all the old playsets. The Thundercats lair is the last nice. big iconic playset. I got all the Joe ones, the Transformers ones, the nice. Ghostbusters Firehouse. But oh, wow. uh, and, and I know like when it first came out, I wasn't really interested in it. I'm like, hey, it kind of looks goofy. But now all these years later, eh, it's it's the last thing I don't really need. But uh, maybe if it's there and the price is right, then uh, then we'll see if it comes home with me. Nice. That that is not to say put it aside for me. I uh, I really <laughs> I really don't want anyone holding anything for me or putting anything aside because I I don't need any. You I've got <laughs> look at the silver ox here. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. I got the I got the flag right here. I wonder if I could. Turn the camera over here and just show you guys. Yeah, man, that's, that's uh -huh. oh wow, oh, oh damn. Oh it's got this big you uh Optimus Prime standing on it. So oh man, you got the shuttle. Man, you you're okay. You're oh. serious. I'm all I'm right. I'm all set. I'm yeah, all set. you're good. You know, I'm all set. <laughs> so you, you can see why I have this attitude about eh, yeah. if I see it, cool. If I don't, eh, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. What about uh you, DG? Are you looking for any last grail? Yeah, that's a good question, man. Um, <laughs> I'm always on the hunt for something, but uh, right now, Street Fighter, Street Fighter figures. So, like, Jada Toys is hot right now. Uh, we got most everything that had come out uh, from them, but uh, there's some older figures, uh, Street Fighter figures that uh, are hard to find nowadays. So, I'm on the hunt for that kind of stuff. Um, Talking about old video game figures. Yeah. I just picked these up. And this is the oh, most bad in a long, long time. I, oh, I laugh my man. butt off doing wow. a review for these. I just, it oh. killed like the, the boost <laughs> drill. These are amazing. If you yeah. love the old NES game, yeah, yeah, yeah. these wow. are the figures they never made, always should have made. <laughs> oh, they're just, that. they're a blast. They're absolutely bonkers and, and, in a huge blast so. those guys are doing uh, earthworm gym i think too right oh that's cool i wasn't as big a fan of that game but uh, i'm glad they're sticking with that theme. yeah yeah it's such a nice just I, I gotta send them a message and just say hats off to you you not just put a smile on my face but you made me laugh my butt off for an hour because you you nailed it yeah. <laughs> you just you nailed it i love them they're I've been uh, tickled by them all day long. You know, oh, usually man. get I'm something, you have it. <laughs> butts, butts with it, and just put it on a shelf. But these are like I actually stuck them next to my desk and edited with them there all day. I'm like, oh man, that's oh, man. that's nice. really really super cool. Uh, ATS, anything you're uh, you're still looking for? Um, I'm usually I keep on like top of the trends, I guess, because I'm also a reselling collector, I guess you could say. <laughs> mm. So. Uh, uh, wrestling man that's your jam wrestling great wrestling Marvel. like me personally i collect yeah wrestling yeah. uh marvel legends yeah. and uh yeah danny started me on the street fighter stuff as well <laughs> you uh have you gotten any of those new big rubber guys uh ljn style no 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 Figures? i'm more of a elite dude. and ultimate collector I dude guess. these are so oh, awesome for the, wow. for the old school fans <laughs> these are incredible <laughs> wow. they're, they're incredible Hats off to the Major Brothers. I love these. These are, <laughs> these are. If you want to know what it was like in the '80s, this yeah. is what yeah. it was like. They are just fantastic. Yeah. Love them. We we had one of the Major Brothers at our show. Eh? Was it uh, uh, Brian Myers? Brian Myers was at our oh, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kurt, Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, Kurt yeah. Hawkins was at our show. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Uh, any any uh, you know, celeb celebs uh, lined up for the next one? Uh, we're working on something, so stay tuned for updates. <laughs> I, I do celebs in quotes because that that ra these days it ranges anywhere from uh, MCU, Marvel, yeah. Disney actors, yeah, all the way to YouTubers. YouTubers, the YouTubers <laughs> are the new celebrities, man. The TikTokers, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not interested. <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm not, 
I'm not, I'm not, an, I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> I'm not interested, <laughs> but uh, it's been awesome chatting with you guys. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up here, but thanks for filling us in on awesome toy show. Thanks. And... Mike. Thanks. Oh, anytime, man. Thank anytime. you. Thank you for having us, man. Appreciate Any, it. Anytime. Looking forward to uh, hopefully being able to come out there yeah, Sunday, man. June 23rd, yeah. head over to, awesome toy show.ca i think was the website you yep. also have uh, an instagram page if you want to plug that right now yeah at awesome toy show at awesome toy show folks if you have any questions just shoot them over a message and ats will get back to you thanks again guys and everyone else uh, thank hopefully you. thanks guys hope to see you at the show nerd to stay thank you take care man thanks guys